All right. There's the chat room. Do, 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 do. Let's put on a little music. Oh, what did I... Endless Road. Put you up here. Manage your channel directly from your phone. Let's do a test. There I am. All right, fantastic. Okay, so it's about a two second delay. Move the teapot. Rearrange the desk for the umpteenth time. up. Come on in, have a seat, settle in. Don't be shy to chat. Sort that later. Deep breath in through the nose. 
And out through the mouth. Hopefully you could hear the music. Uh, tonight's music was Endless Road by S. Hill. It is Creative Commons free use, so be sure to look that up if you enjoy it. And I will put that in the chat if you are interested. Hill or Sill. There we are. Okay. Closing that and getting started. Good evening, and welcome to Tea and Games with the Blue Fox. I'm your Tea Fox, Nido Nemo, and I'd like to welcome all my newcomers to the stream and welcome back my returning guests. Uh, one thing I haven't done yet is thank people for following. Uh, we have Riven64, Schmanky, Varian Mind Drive, Ness123, and Harlequin Mage have all followed me, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, whether you are present or you will come in later, uh, doesn't matter, just as long as you're enjoying yourself. That's why I'm doing this. So, uh, come on in, sit on down, and get comfy. Uh, if you're new here, what I do is boil up a nice pot of tea and invite you to join me in a nice casual game in order to take the edge off the long week behind us and mentally unwind before bed so we're rested for the day ahead. You are more than welcome to boil up a pot of your pot of tea yourself. I highly recommend anything caffeine free. Uh, herbal teas are a gold mine of flavors. Uh, my favorite brand is uh, Celestial Seasonings. Always fun box art on those little guys. Uh, if you're not sure what would be relaxing, chamomile is always good. Chamomile and lavender are both very calming herbs, so go for it. Uh, I do admit I was absent last week, uh, pardon me, I was dealing with a bit of a chest cough, and the last thing I wanted to subject you to was my wheezing and other unsavory noises. So. On to the fun updates. Uh, it's snowing. It's snowing. Oh, a favorite time of the year for me. A uh, close rival for autumn's cascades of beautiful leaves. It's good and thick here in Fargo. The temperatures have actually gotten down to just one degree Fahrenheit at times. Uh, being a West Coaster from California and Washington, I've never been in such chills before, and I admit I was a tad anxious, but I've been walking around outside for fun and enjoying myself, admiring the snow-blanketed world around me and scaring the locals because I seem to be the only one thrilled to see it. I've been told that I'd learn to hate it uh, for years. Anytime I mention, like, oh, I love snow, people was like, oh, I hate the snow, and they'd be all nice and crabby over it. Well, I've driven in it. I've slid in it, uh, in my car. I've shoveled it. I've been strandled, stranded inside because of it on several different occasions. I've had precious plans dashed to pieces because of it, and my car is currently frozen under it, and... Guess what? I still love it. So yes, I am absolutely out of my mind. 
I love the cold. I get to bury myself under blankets and do all that cozy stuff that justifies hiding from the outside world, like baking things and drinking things and eating things and sharing your blanket fort with a close friend. Maybe sharing a little more than your blanket fort with your close friend. So, tonight, we have a bit of a change of the programming. <laughs> if you were here with us last stream, I had a bit of an issue with Child of Light. I kept getting a saving error. Uh, it said, like, save failed, save failed, and I surmised that, well, I probably don't have enough space on this drive. My PC is split into two drives, C and D. Um, and C is the smaller one. So, I had my entire Steam library stored on C drive, and I... Of course, that drive had the least space, so I shoved everyone over to the D drive, which has was remarkably easy, given that Steam has a lovely file relocation system. So if you're having a similar problem, what you do is you bring up Steam, you go into your games library, so everything will be on the left if you have it configured like I do, all your titles. Uh, you right-click a title in the list, click properties and there should be an option called move install folder from there you just navigate to where you want that game's folder to me to be moved on on your machine you do have to do this one game at a time i tried to do like multiple games at the same time it kept saying oh it failed it's busy it's like okay so everybody get in line we're doing this one at a time it's a tad tedious, and it will be especially tedious if you have a large installed already library on your machine. But, uh, well, you... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I lost my place. Uh, but just take an afternoon and roll up your sleeves, done and done. Well, uh, something happened after I did that. I have no idea what, but now the game plays way too big on my screen. Uh, I'm forum digging for an answer. And uh, the last answer, the last entry on that list was from 2018. So I'm going to have to dig a little de deeper elsewhere. So while Child of Light throws her little tantrum, we'll just move on to another chill title, Night in the Woods, instead. As usual, I have my tea right here, and tonight's brew is a dear favorite of mine. I fell in love with this years ago. Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. It even has a delightful little fox right on the box. So let's pour our first cup and begin. Who says I don't know how to do ASMR? <clears throat> All right, let's see if this works. It's loading, it's loading. There we are. Tab check. Yes, fantastic. Start a new game. In the year Granddad died, the highway extension came. We had the worst flood since 1998. Oh. Let's try a flood. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed.
and their wings in their trees, all things die, be at peace. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window. At the old playground, half washed away, he turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything. But I figured someone would be here. <sighs> Welcome home, May. Ah, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. Must be such a relief to pay phone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents. But some jerk hole took the time to actually rip me off. Who steals a phone? Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Well, yeah, I agree there. Arf. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up. I'm looking at a chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs. Mostly in the chart sector. <laughs> which is notoriously recession proof. My, my, Garbo. We got a little political there. Gotta get political every now and then. Went on one of those internet dates last week. Oh? Yeah, the internet is truly giving lover. <laughs> hey, any lovely ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? Get in touch. And I'll let you know if I find one. Good lord. It's almost as bad as real TV. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 1045. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Isn't there someone... So, good lord. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Okay, we have to go that way. Can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fiascola from the machine. <sighs> Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free isn't free. Free isn't no one's here to say otherwise. Nice. <laughs> what the? They all, they have lime fiasco and he wants a fiasco cola? That's just a waste. Okay, just gotta grab it. Well, that was interactive.
One, <laughs> one free ass cola. <laughs> Yummers. So, what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh. Strange. When do you think that door's gonna be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. I'm not walking out. I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad know where to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. This bus station is probably the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. Ugh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Are these food donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. Seriously, I've seen the same things. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Ugh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Shopping bags are little ghosts of grocery stores haunting everywhere else. Oh, wow. I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. Oh my god. I fucked around and found out. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna die in this hole. Still piping hot. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. And apparently no one else has. Oh, 
I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. A little meta. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shapes. I remember Kathy Domingo's boyfriend took her here to make out and then break up. And then the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. <laughs> hey, you can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. Ahoy! I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. Looks like the ladder's gone. I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this, not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Maybe I should just give up without even really trying. Hmm. Okay, let's try this run and jump, jump, jump thing one more time. Or, you know, first time anyway. Oh, come on. I have a history of platformers. That was pathetic. Awesome. It's only been two years since I've lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So, get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Hey, remember me? Ah! May, you give me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, May, so good to hear that voice again. 
Good night. Dad looks older. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever's buried under the house after the cement incident. I love that word, incident. It just invites the imagination to go absolutely batshit. This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound. Scares Dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was Granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? I wonder if Dad could move them. Yeah, Dad put them here, I bet. Dad should move them. It's only fair. play some bass but which song nah later maybe I do not like music music rhythm games so that's not going to be very pretty later I was told that there was one I was so cute then we were all so cute then cuties the lot of us we could have a traveling show the cute borowskis no, i'm still there no i don't want to do that how is this bird still alive It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that applicate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury. The fancy corpse. Helmol Stevenson. Necropus, book the first. Lady Shark. The stoat on Gallows Hill. Mom has all of her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. One family's horrifying farm life of the 1880s. Jeez, mom. Hey, look, some of dad's books got on here. Finches of North America. World of Titmice. <laughs> I never claim to be mature. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that just struck something. 
Oh, I needed that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just leaving it up there. Okay, okay. The Complete Grackle, a three volume set. Owls are owlsome. Treacherous cranes. The hell is a grackle? <laughs> My sense of humor never graduated elementary school. <laughs> Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day we were, you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey, it's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working at, down at the Snack Falcon. Up in Town Center West by the Click Clack. We have a Snack Falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out. The food donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to the ham panther out by the highway now. I love these names. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon? It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well... Have a good time out there. Lots to explore, see what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be fall in Possum Springs without a load of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. God, I love her already. Her character just exudes that nice motherly warmth. So what's been happening in town? Well, let's see. Did you hear Mrs. Cranger Krangler died? Who? You remember Mrs. Krangler? She taught your Girl Scout troop how to dance. Oh, wow. She was pretty old then, too. Oh, she was ancient, honey. She was ancient when I was your age. How did she die? From being ancient, honey. <laughs> Lovely the dialogue in this game. How old was she? 115. Wow. I know. If this were a contest, she'd have won. What do you win in an old age contest? Oh, the sweet release of death. That was morbid, excuse me. <laughs> Part one, home again. Kill, kill, kill! Freeze! Well, it sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter. Makes life half the t makes like half the town inaccessible. Unless you want to walk the long way around for like 20 minutes, which I mean, no. Hmm. He's handsome though. Gotta love your blue collar boys, right? Hey, Mr. Twigmire. 
May, is that you? Nope. Well, it looks like May. But it smells like May. I have a smell. When you were a kid, Susan used to call you a little dirt ball. Well, I was a dirt ball. You still are a dirt ball, I bet. Cradle to grave, 100% dirt ball. That's the spirit. <laughs> See you around, Mr. Twigmire. <laughs> Selmers, what are you doing home? Dropped out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Weird. So, how have you been? Okay. Me and Dennis split. Oh, no. Yeah, he got a job at the new prison over in Brittle. And he met some girl at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Eh, he's a free agent. I guess. What's that word they use? For like a weapon you make in jail? Like a knife? A shiv? I hope Dennis gets shivved at work. Just to scare him. Scare him good. That'd do it. Scare him right in the kidney. <laughs> Okay, well, I gotta go. Nice seeing you. Stop by anytime. I mean, I share sentiments. Hello. What you doing on my porch? Hey, Mr. Ch Chazakov. <laughs> Hello, May, my best worst student. <laughs> yeah. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Oh. <laughs> well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure thing. I don't know how to pronounce that. Can I land on that? No. I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh, wow. Kids still talk about Little Joe? We used your DNA. Do you kids know what DNA is? Yeah, it's the stuff you use to solve crimes. Like a body part, but really small. But ghosts don't have parts. Yeah, Harley. Harley's right. Hey, lady, will you go away? Lady! <laughs> Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh no. They say construction's always hiring. But it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you going to do? I'm open to suggestions. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. I've been out of work for a year before. And this time I only lasted six months before getting laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? Not really. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh, that's really depressing. I don't have.
have a job either. Oh man, sorry to talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good, just dropped out of college and I'm living with my parents. Oh. So you're basically a teenager again. No. I'm just an adult living with her parents. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby. That pays money you don't need for rent. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Yeah. Yeesh. Booking Odyssey. Need a babysitter? Katie Washington has never lost a child. Jimmy Donnelly, the singing repairman. Tim's landscaping. Firewood for sale. I have too much firewood. Do you know... Can I grab anything? Awesome Springs. More like Awesome Springs. Please stop. Oh, well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? Oh, man, it bounces. in here. Hey, I just got back in town. And the one thing I missed most was, hey, I remember you. Hello. Thief. Oh, come on. That was years ago. Once a thief, always a thief. All right, you know what? This isn't even a restaurant. It's a crappy food stand in a hole. This establishment has been in business for 50 years. 50 crappy years in a hole. You know what else has been in a hole for 50 years? Dead people from the 60s. No respect, no respect this one. You can keep your whole pretzels and your damp pierogies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go jump in the river. Such pleasant people. <laughs> hey, teens. Hey. What are you guys doing? Uh, nothing. Cool. Cool that people still hang around down here. We used to do that when I was in high school. Yeah. I wasn't in high school that long ago, you know. How old are you? 20. Oh, so you can't buy beer. No. Do you have a car? No. Hmm. Well, bye. <laughs> oh. Abilities. Two? Is that like two? Or like also? This is an error so bad even I wouldn't make it.
party barn for sale. I think I have a great great uncle or something on this. Yep, there you go. Anselm Borowski. Anselm. Even in life he was tragic. We like our war monuments in Possum Springs. There are two really ancient ones over in the old Possum Springs. Three in town proper. And I think they put a new one up on Pill Hill. There's one up by Possum Jump, but that one's spooky. I haven't been up there since that party we're not going to think about. Hey, killer. Ugh, don't call me that. Who are you? Laurie M. How do you even know about the killer thing? It was a big deal, even to us middle schoolers. And what did the Miller's middle schoolers say? You put him in the hospital. And no one knows why. Did he, like, have it coming or something? No. Our mothers told us not to talk to you. Because no one knew when you were going to do it again. Well, say hi to your mom for me. She sounds lovely. Oh, she's gone. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeesh. <laughs> Town center family practice. Where's it hurt? <laughs> what? And where exactly are you planning on going? I don't know, Ham Panther. But honey, you're only going to get minimum there. And I hear they're murder. This place is murder. I don't think I can handle one more incoming call. I wake up sometimes because I hear that bing noise. Nowadays, I just can't take a sleeping aid. Works wonders. We shouldn't have to drug ourselves to get our sleep back from this job. Amen. Well, Ham Panther isn't going to give you a bonus. Ham Panther doesn't even have a leaderboard. But it isn't calls. It isn't sales. I wouldn't be waiting for that bing. I don't know, honey. Maybe you'll have a good shift today and get on the leaderboard. And we'll see how you feel then? I guess. But it won't change anything. Coffee cup. Cigarettes. Coffee cup. Cigarettes. <sighs> Fat pocket pawn. Let's see what's up here. My god. What kind of weather did I miss? This is nuts. Oh well, wasn't going to church anyway. I f this place is falling apart. Hearing a tone. Oh. Also, where was the other video outpost? I love that sign, Possibilities. It's just so corny and tragic. It's almost five, quitting time. Kick back some brews and watch the smelters. Damn. And we'll visit that later. Don't think I'm going to find Greg out by the abandoned food donkey. Better head snack falcon words. I was warned that this game was going to be depressing. 
And I only remember that now. Because I repressed that memory. We're not talking about it. Okay. I love this guy. I love him so hard. Oh. My. God. Hey, Greg. What are you doing here? I'm back. Like, back as in today? Back as in back. Too bad you didn't die at college. Too bad you didn't catch a flesh-eating disease. Too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Too bad you didn't lose all your limbs in a freak soda machine accident. God, it's good to see you. Ah! How's Angus? You two still a thing? Hold on. What are you doing? Changing the music. Isn't he a hunk? Look at that fox. Arf. What? Angus! What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? Since last night? 11 or so? That's amazing! Come to band practice. Oh my god, the band is still a thing? Sure. When's practice? Now. When do you get off work? Now. Really? Ah! <laughs> I love him. I love him so hard. Oh no. Damn straight. Hi, hey, Angus. Hey, it's you. It's May! It's May. So the party barn went out, huh? Yeah, not sure how it ever stayed open. Like, how many parties are there really? You need a lot of parties to keep a barn running. I have your old base! Oh, dude, I don't think I even remember. Hey, B, uh, May's back. Wow. Hi. Yeah, hi. She's totally back! Wait, what? Are you, uh, here for band practice? I play drums. That's not drums. That's computer. It's fine. She also does her bass parts. Well, I understood them as THE bass parts. But I can turn them off. Turn them off. On your computer. May, we're totally gonna play a song. You totally have to play bass. I don't even remember. Those aren't even drums. Oh shit. I'm so bad at these. <laughs> Please don't judge me. <laughs> I wish you could skip these. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
This is not relaxing for me. <laughs> Yeah, I never took a music class in my entire life. Wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Holy crap. That was hard to do. Yeah, no shit. You'll get back in practice. No, I don't want to. I really don't want to. I hope, jeez. My wrist hurts. That was great, man. Like, uh, just seeing you back. Playing your old horrible bass. Okay, are we doing this diner thing? Yeah! <sighs> Woo! Yay. Hip hip. <laughs> Hell yeah, did you miss pizza, May? They have pizza at school. Oh, cool. This pizza isn't great. It's pretty horrible. Dudes, haven't you heard of the pizza scale? The what? There's a scale of pizza. On one end, there's the worst pizza. But like, everything right above that is still really good. What's at the other end of the scale? It's pizza all the way up. Pizza good. Oh, I mean, it's no possibilities. Mmm, I miss possibilities. I'm not touching those crusts. Same. We should have gone to possibilities. The diner has ambience. The seats are comfy. The food is terrible, but it's got charm. You too fancy for the diner now? Guys. Please. I was raised in this diner. You and like a zillion rats. So when are we gonna play out? <clears throat> May. We don't play out. Oh. We have jobs, May. I work at the video outpost too. I'm at the old pickaxe. Isn't that your dad's store? Sure is. I'm Lord of the Snack Falcons! <laughs> I'm just gonna let him do that. Where's Casey? Uh. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know, huh? Casey's gone. Gone? Gone how? Hopped a train, I bet. Oh, wow. He always talked about doing that. Yeah, one day he was just gone. Let's pour another here, one second. Oh, that's good stuff. Made a clean break, hasn't emailed or anything. Well, good for him, I guess. His parents put up missing person posters. But everyone knew what happened. Jeez, Casey. I... Huh. Mm-hmm. And what exactly do you do, May? I was in college. And why exactly are you still not there? Didn't work out. Huh. Imagine that. Uh... Well, we better get home, dude. Oh yeah, Angus got a date with sword people online. Aw, lucky. That is the cutest couple. It's really great to be back. Dude, we can hang out every day! Oh my god. Holy crap. What? Is that an arm? Oh shit. <laughs> That's an arm. Nobody move. Let's poke it with a stick. I call first! 
Hey, this is like tampering with evidence. Ugh, am I going to have to start worrying about getting dismembered on my way home? Shh, I want to watch this. You don't need your ears to watch. Shh! Ugh. Oh god. That is so nasty. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Hello. Okay. All right. Now what's going on here? Uh-oh. <laughs> My Aunt Molly, we found an arm. All right, May, put the stick down and step away from the arm. All right, all right, don't taser me or anything. No promises. Oh, well, I think it's time for Angus and I to get home. See you tomorrow, May. All right, I don't want any of you walking home alone tonight. Buddy system. Something bad's going on. I can drive May home, officer. Thank you, B. Yeah, thanks, B. Let's roll. Gonna be wrapping it up after this. So, working at the old pickaxe. Yep. Are they training you to take over the family business? They? Um, your parents? Hey, look, we're here. Oh, my house is actually isn't for a few blocks. Get out. Okay. Uh, thanks for the ride. Go. Sensing tension. Greg totally rules. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Fancy. Normal delivery. Frozen. Cheap. Bad. Uneatable. Avoid. Greg rules. Okay. Arm. Observation. Severed. Army jacket. On sidewalk. We forgot the diamond tattoo, though. All right. Save and quit to title. Yes, please. Alrighty. No, 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 no. Why did it go there? Oh, for God's sake, I can't even do this. Pardon me as I scramble with a dang keyboard. Exit. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. That's enough of that. I'd like to thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, it is 9.02 p.m. Uh, i like to just do an hour uh, until I get the swing of things. Um, wrapping up, I have a couple of things that I'm looking into. I need, I still have literally no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just barely understanding streaming. I mean, this is like my third or fourth stream at the moment. Um, I still need to re this. It, it's embarrassing to admit, but, uh, I need to research what bits are, um, subscriptions and resubscriptions, uh, hosting cloud bot redemptions, uh, Streamlabs prime gift gifts and such. So, um, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, I am getting a basic understanding of what um, sources and scenes are, and I've already put together, I'm, I want to put together a Fox-themed scene, because uh, the, the Streamlabs default is very lovely, don't get me wrong, it's, it's nice, the neon is such a beautiful visual, but uh, it it's not me. It's not who I'm 
I feel. Uh, I don't think anybody's really seen any of the uh, the widgets yet or the um, alerts because uh, these have been kind of lonely streams so far. But um, I've personalized them all to be fox themed, and I want everything to be foxy themed with this. So. We have a couple screens to do go for, and I'm going to redo all those sound effects for all the little bits. So, um, oh, okay. I was wondering what that noise was. Like, I have 14 alerts.